So welcome to the uh, TAD Summit Innovators. I'm really pleased to uh, be running a uh, session with one of our winners from TAD Hack Open. They were building on top of Strollet, so they were focused on VCONs and uh, the team. Uh, the, the hack name first is Garuda, a mythological bird. And we have three of the team, which is uh, Siraj, Naga, and Akshata, Divya, is unfortunately not feeling that well, but we've got 75%, so I'm really pleased. What I'd like to do is start with introductions. So uh, we'll start actually with Thomas, because it's all his fault. He sponsored. Uh, if you could just quickly introduce yourself and just a quick mention of what VCon is all about for the uninitiated. Yeah, thank you. Hi, my name is Thomas. I'm the CTO of a company called Strawlid. I'm also the co-author of an upcoming internet standard called VCons. VCons are a new kind of document, just like a JPEG, just like a picture document or a Word document, but it, inside of it, it contains customer recordings. Um, and the reason why we're doing this is so we can give those customer recordings to other people and to um, uh, automations and AI so that they can use them to get smarter, but at the same time, protecting the stuff that's inside the document. And that's why we have VCons. Excellent. Thank you so much, Thomas. Um... Suraj, would you please introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Suraj. I'm based out of Tampa, Florida. I study at University of South Florida. I'm doing a grad program in AI information systems. I have over two years of experience in the data science and analytics space. Um, and I also cu currently work as a graduate research assistant, um, you know, diving deep into topics like natural language processing and applications of AI in cybersecurity applications. Excellent. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, Tad Hacks was like an excellent uh, platform for me to use all of these skills to build a product around VCons. Uh, yeah, and having said that, I'm also looking for summer internships in any space that's using technology to solve problems. I'm open to doing any of that. Yeah. Uh, but especially VCon. <laughs> yeah. Especially VCon. <laughs> so Akshata, would you please introduce yourself? Yeah. So, hi, I'm Akshita. So, I'm currently enrolled in master's uh, in artificial intelligence and business analytics at the University of South Florida, based at Tampa, Florida. So, I have expertise in Python, C++, and with experience, two years of experience in data science and machine learning. So, I was happy to be part of this hackathon, and uh, I was grateful to learn many things through this hackathon because this was the real-time platform where I got chance to implement what I learned in my academics. Also, uh, experience, added experience uh, which I had. So, yeah. And also, uh, thank you, Thomas, for giving us uh, uh, this expertise in last call. And here, yeah, I'm also looking for the summer internship for the data science data analysis roles. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And then Naga, please introduce yourself. So hi all, this is Naga Sai. I'm currently pursuing my master's in business analytics information system at University of South Florida. And like I have two years of experience back in India as data analytics, as day, 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 <coughs> as day, day, data analytics. Mm -hmm. And currently I'm looking for some, uh, for some summer internships and it could be like from any technologies. And I'm currently working on uh, front-end technologies uh, like React and Next.js, mm -hmm. and uh, like I am open to any kind of technology for summer internships. And like yeah, and thank you, Alan and uh, Thomas for giving me this opportunity. And I learned many things uh, in Tata Act 2024, and grateful to be part of Karuda. Excellent. No, that's great. And then Johnny, as you're on the call as well, please just quick intro. Um, Johnny. Um. I stole some comic books from my neighbor and I pay, I give them, I pay, trade them in for Alan. So he allows me to come on the show with all you brilliant people. <laughs> Thank you so much, Johnny. Okay. So what I suggest is we'll hand over to the team and please just, you know, review what you built because you didn't have enough time it was really just showing you know here's how we do uh, basically pii detection and here's basically uh, you know doing the redaction in real time so it was you know you fulfilled the brief it was an excellent hack but in our time together i was just very impressed in all the pieces you put together so please just run through in a bit more detail what you built in just a matter of uh, you know 24 hours Right. Um, 
Uh, so let's just revisit the actual problem statement that we got yeah. uh, for you know Tad Hack Open 2024 uh, from Strolid, and that was data minimization. Um, you know, given some piece of communication data that could be a text or an audio, can we somehow remove all the personal information um, so that AIs can then use that for their training or, you know, it could just be in a week on as, you know, a, a, a conversation that happened, right? So that was the idea. And I don't think that there was more, um, you know, details given about it on how to go about it. It is so... You know, we looked at it as a very nice and open-ended problem. We kind of, you know, read the week on white paper that um, was out there, and we kind of got an idea about what VCONs are, what they do, and how they can, you know, uh, kind of be a breakthrough in this uh, space as a standard for communication. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh, once we kind of understood all of that, we said, okay. Um, let's kind of, uh, you know, let's just take some com communication and process it and, you know, remove PIS essentially. Uh, and then once we kind of tested it out and we thought, Hey, uh, you know, why not make a full product out of it just, you know, for a demo so that people can kind of understand what's going on. Yeah. So if I can kind of share my screen, um, absolutely. Uh, yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. So yeah, this is what the landing page for that looks like. This is what we built in 24 hours for Tad Hack, as you can see here. Um, so this layout basically uh, lets you kind of upload any kind of document. Uh, it could be um, an audio file, it could be a text file, or you know whatever. Mm -hmm. And once you upload it, you can uh, you will actually be headed to another space where you can see what your original document was like and what the output looked like. Yeah. Okay. So it's just like, you know, select a file, just the, um, you know, the regular stuff. Yeah. Once that happens, um, it goes to another page, right? Yeah. And this page, you basically have the original conversation, which is transcribed from an audio file. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear this, but this is what the audio file sounds like. Um, yeah, we can't hear it. it. You have to set up your uh, your input and the rest. So don't worry about it. But, okay, that's uh, okay. Yeah, that's clear. The, yeah, the point being that this is a real conversation that yeah. I picked out as a sample audio conversation from YouTube. Yeah. Um, where you know you can just review the text here. It just says, "Hey, Ellen speaking. How can I help you?" And so on, right? Yeah. And as you can clearly see, that there is some personal information put out yeah. here names of people and phone numbers. And you can kind of see even the output audio that, I mean, the output where, you know, it's redacted all the personal information, which is exactly what we, you know, the problem statement is. Yeah. Right. And also the output audio, uh, obviously, which we can't hear um, is, um, you know, it silences all the personal information automatically without any human supervision. Yeah. Typically, what would happen is you would have a team who would have to kind of label each of these um, personal information and yeah. also kind of, you know, manually remove them out of a conversation. Yeah. And this platform kind of does all of that automatically. And you can, oh, you know, at the end of it, download each of this. Yeah. Right. And just to go through the VCon part of it, the, we also kind of create a VCon for sending out um, and this kind of includes a lot of things, right? For yeah. example, there's an analysis here that says the conversation, this is the conversation summary. This was the, you know, the redacted message. What was the sentiment of this whole conversation? It was neutral, yeah. obviously. Um, the, the raw transcription of, mm -hmm. you know, what it was. Yeah. What word was said at each timestamp? Yep. Right. So Ellen was the first word. It's yep. it, you know, it started at the zero second and ended at the you know uh, yeah. Four, uh, yeah point four millisecond. And you have all of the other conversational documents. What the dialogue is, who's speaking, what kind of content it is, who the speaker is, what the timestamp is. So 
you can quickly kind of get a sense of how a vcon is kind of summarizing everything into one nice piece yeah um, or a packet where it just has everything right including mm -hmm. extra bits like analysis and um, you know the redacted messages as well as um, a lot of metadata for example like how long is a, the conversation what type of conversation was it who's calling who right yeah. so all of them is neatly neatly kind of wrapped into a vcon and that was you know even the idea behind the vcons can we kind of summarize all the conversations and put everything together in one place exactly um, so exactly. yeah this was kind of our hack uh, and we can go to more uh, you know go through more in detail if you know it's required oh yeah no and you of course have the tamper protection in there as well so it's been stamped for the organization. So it's uh, protected information. Now, Thomas, do you have uh, any questions for, for the yeah. team? Yeah, so um, I got a few things. The first is, uh, as I said before, and I'll say it again, you guys did a great job. We, we intentionally put this as a very <laughs> wide open sort of uh, open goal for us because uh, we, we love to see the creativity part of Part of what happens at Tad Hack is that people get creative, which we we're trying to get. And so uh, you guys did a fantastic job. I, I was really, really happy with what you did. Uh, the, the, the second thing is, I think for some people who see this, they might see some of the benefit, which is, okay, I can't see the <clears throat> person's personal details anymore. Let me let me just mention the hidden benefit that you might not that might not come to you. Because the personal information has been reduced eliminated from this it is now safer maybe not safe but at least safer to share around the organization and to other interest groups so here's a here's a, a real life example i have a customer which is giving me some feedback on a product which um, which is really hard to get people will spend a lot of money trying to figure out what people really think about your product but maybe in this conversation they said i love this thing because of that thing and that's really important information. This minimized conversation can now go to the product owner, the guy who's making that product for the direct feedback that they wouldn't have had otherwise. Yeah. And minimization makes it safer to do that. And this is what the VCon provides as a, as a protocol. So that this is this is a really valuable work. Um, and, and the last thing um, I'll, I'll mention is I, I really like the... <clears throat> how you you um, added into the, the JSON structure other elements into the VCon, which is totally fine. One of the, the ideas behind um, the IETF protocols, and this is an IETF protocol, it's a networking protocol, it defines how the internet works, is that we are very um, generous in what we'll accept. So you can, when you make an object, you have to have these things in it, but you can have other things too. When you send it across the network and they get it, if it has extra stuff, that's fine. Uh, so this is a really nice example of how you've, you've enhanced that. So uh, very good. I think it was a great job. Excellent. Thank you so much, Thomas. And a few dumb questions from me, uh, Suraj. Um, how did you determine what is PII? What tool or, you know, how did you make that determination? Um, I did watch um, a conversation between you and Thomas, actually, that you posted on the Tadax resources, where you guys kind of discuss about what PIIs are. Mm -hmm. And you also kind of talk about how, you know, other than the obvious PIIs, like, um, you know, a phone number, or email, a company, there could be a lot of other PIIs, right? For example, a person's favorite football team yeah. or... Uh, what religion he has. So it, 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 <laughs> yeah, it, it can, it, yeah, it can keep going on and on. Okay. Yeah. Um, obviously we, we were not able to go in that depth. I'd be honest in the hackathon, we didn't go to the depth of, uh, you know, uh, that, but we try to cover all the most basic yeah. um, PIS for short, right? Names of people, a number, um, emails, where they live, We've lost you. Your audio's gone. We lost your audio again, Suraj. You have to put a quarter back in your headset. <laughs> <laughs> Exit. And hopefully the, you'll... Oh, there you go. The <laughs> connection keeps going off. No, don't worry. Uh, I But we caught everything apart from that. Yeah, just the last bit. But we got it. Now, was there a particular tool you used 
for doing that detection in terms of this is a name and the rest, or was it just some code you built? Okay. Uh, so the idea was, I mean, as soon as I saw this, because, um, you know, I could connect the dots back into NLP and this yeah. is a very well, a well solved problem in NLP. It's called, it's called named entity recognition, right? Yeah. So given a piece of text, you, there are recognizable entities that you can predefine, right? Yeah. And these are PIIs. So yeah. we, there's, we, we basically found, um, a pre-trained model that is, currently being built for um, PII detection and NER specifically for PII. So. Gotcha. No, yeah. that's just fair. at the personal point of privilege. Did that come anywhere? Uh, did you get that from the hugging face repo or someplace different? Yeah, we got it from the hugging face repo. Yeah. I just want to do that for Vin. Vin loves hugging face. So just the, just the words. He just likes when people say it. So thank you. <laughs> Yeah, but in our case, I think uh, we can customize the PII as we require. So that right. was the case. Yeah. Right. Yeah, very nice. Right. I mean, obviously, if change, we're building right? it, I'm so yeah. sorry to interrupt, but obviously, you know, every business is going to have different PIIs, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. We also kind of encapsulated that in our app where you can kind of custom oh, choose nice. uh, what PIIs you want. And after that point, it's, you know, uh, one, I mean, if you're obviously working uh, full time towards creating something for a product, customizing it, then we can build our own NER models just, you know, for their conversations and their applications. Yeah, right. So, yeah, but this is a very general, you know, yes, idea. Yeah, how to do it. yeah we've, exactly. we've talked um, about putting this as a, uh, having, having, uh, doing a little more work and putting it as part of the conserver, as a standard part of the conserver. Cool. Yeah. That will be great. Excellent. That'd be fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Love the community building. Is there anything anybody else would like to add or question? Me. Go for it, Johnny. Um, I, I would like to talk to, uh, as far as the internships, and um, are those internships, are these virtual type internships you're looking for or something uh, within your area? Uh, uh, what are you guys, uh, or does it really matter? Um, I'll speak for even my teammates here. We're looking to work, um, you know, we're very flexible with it. We could do it uh, remotely. We could work on site within our city. We're okay with anything as long as, you know, it's a internship that involves technology and solving some problems. Yeah. No, I, I think what, what, what Thomas says is correct. And Alan, I think we should start something with Tad Hack and Tad Summit. We have a large community. You have thousands and thousands of subscribers. A lot of companies like us listening either way. I mean, you got talent like this, you got young mm -hmm. people and you've got VCOMs, which are relatively new and the conserver and the whole, the whole bundle of that. And, and also horizontally into like, we've done deals with, we've had private AI on, we've had uh vape on just recently. We've had, yeah. you know, signal wire talking about stuff with AI. I, I just think it's, it's maybe something that we should do. Cause I mean, it's all, it's all about these kids. Absolutely. I mean, we've, yeah, we've been there, done that, all of us. So um, the future is in their hands. Um, yeah. And I, I think we just got to, I'm very impressed by you guys and, and, and love it and love to see just good kids doing good. And um, yeah. if we can do something, Alan, to focus on their internships and maybe yeah. more, maybe we can, uh, just an idea, we'll talk offline on it. Yeah, absolutely. No and, and, and Thomas, you too. I mean, you're, you're like, you know, you're like the, inventor of the the vcom situation here and maybe we can you can start something like that i don't know he's the vcon because... father on oh, the vcon father yeah he's but, the vcon yeah. father yeah, yeah right he's the, he's yeah, the but VCon as as I talk, i'm actually more of the conciliary than the vcon father but it's okay it's <laughs> as it don't matter as long as you're in there say sometimes the conciliary is the smartest one uh it usually is so um yeah, that's, I just think that's just something. Um, no, I, I agree. You, you got. You know, we're all on board yeah. with that. Yeah, I think I think yeah. we're okay. So people, I've, 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 I, I'm hearing more and more about people have asked me about you know how I think things are going in, in the world and look at this. No, they're going better. Exactly. I think I think the young people coming up are smart and nice. Cool. I do. Well, again, thank you so much for giving your time up on a Saturday. This has been really great, uplifting, and it's you know again. 
very impressive hack. And uh, as I'm mentioning, I'm sort of writing the um, uh, blog behind this, sort of giving a little bit of the history of the fact that uh, Thomas was offered an IETF meeting in Australia. Uh, so support wasn't there, shall we say, the, to the level it normally is. Thomas arrives into Boston uh, on Sunday morning, and I get a call saying, Helen, what do you need me to do? <laughs> yeah, my initial reaction was get some sleep and then be on the uh, Tad Hack uh, live stream by 2 p.m. And you know, I, all I can say is, as Thomas was watching your pitch, which I'll be linking to as well, you know, I could see he was delighted in what you produced. So again, well done, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Yeah, you too. Thank, Thank you all, too. Bye-bye.